we're going to welcome to today's reading. So we're going to get into this and just do some reading, see what comes up for today or this week or just if it finds you, you're meant to hear it kind of thing. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm using the old version of the um, Gilded Tarot. Oh no, I've been drawn to it lately. Do you know when you, I've been reconnecting with my old decks because they're the ones that started me off and this is my first deck, like one of the firsts. Um, so yeah. Okay. Making sure I'm in frame. Okay, so with that King of Pentacles, I feel like you're very, you're at your peak. Like you are at the top here. You are at the top. You have everything going for you. Like your friendship circle's going very well. You're very emotionally, there's a new beginning here. Maybe there's something in this friendship group that comes out. But for some reason you feel trapped with this t Eight of Swords. I don't know how you feel trapped because all your ducks are in a row again. Maybe there's something aligning here. Another opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands, okay. Knight of Swords, okie dokie. And the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords, okay. So, you're at the peak here with this King of Pentacles. You feel like you're at the top of your career here. You're doing very well. But it also could be someone who is down to earth and maybe you are a very down to earth person. And um, you know, your friends are your key. Cause like you can see like even in the art here, the King is looking, this King is looking towards the, the Three of Cups for advice. So he's looking towards his friends. He's looking towards his court in a way. Um. So your friends are your key to moving forward or going forward because I feel like this Ace of Cups is a big thing coming. Um, it's it's a big thing uh, for you. It's a big thing. You're just emotionally overwhelmed. You're, you know, you just need to let that release. I just want to see what that's about. Ten of Pentacles. So maybe like you, because you're so financially stable, you're not emotionally stable. And maybe it's time to go, do you know what? I'm trying to get back out on the dating field, maybe. So maybe it's trying to get back out on the dating field or that kind of energy going on here. But I feel like you feel like you're trapped. Like there's no time to make this. There's no time for someone other than how am I going to make time for someone else when I can barely make time for myself? That kind of thing. And I want to see, yeah, look, Knight of Wands. So the King of Wands, sorry, not Knight of Wands. So the King of Wands comes up here showing that you make a game plan to get out of this. You want to get out of this scenario and come out of it with this fiery energy. And even with like the two kings here, like they're looking at each other because they're the opposing of each other. Like the King of Pentacles is earth and fire like does, you know, does burn earth a lot or like nature and stuff. So, but fire is an element and it is a thing that we have to deal with. So maybe it's just this fiery like energy. Do you want to get out of the way and get out of this sword situation here? And then with the Nine of Cups here, your wishes are coming true. It's all good and fine and dandy, but you're taking it for granted because don't forget, you have nine cups here and you have one up here. So the one cup you take, I'm going, I'm going to take this one cup for myself. Everyone else can have the rest. That's what I feel like it's about. And when you do, that you invested that Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups into a pentacle. So I feel like you're kind of like, okay. I need a new opportunity. I need something to ground me. There's something coming in and now you're waiting for it with this three of wands. You're waiting for this knight of swords to come up, apparently. So you're waiting for this knight of swords rather than knight of cups. I thought this was interesting now. Rather than knight of cups, it's a knight of swords. So 
maybe you're rushing too much into this and you might be going a bit too fast because we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, see look, the Wands are trying to advise you a lot here. Like with that King of uh, Wands and then the Three of Wands. Um, so this Knight of Wands is saying, whoa, slow down just a little bit. Keep to the plan. Don't go ahead and rush ahead. Don't, don't rush ahead with yourself here. I want to see what else that means. Page of Cups. So this shows you that this knight is telling you to like ease back, learn about the cups a bit, learn about yourself, and listen to the messages of the universe rather than just make it happen. By all means, put the effort in. Like, there's no saying like let the universe do everything that you want. Put the effort in and see what comes your way, because. This is stressing you out with the Nine of Swords as the overall energy of this reading. The Nine of Swords is stressing you out. This kind of like, oh my god, I'm I'm lo losing time. I'm, I'm too late for this. I don't have enough time in the day or at all to do this. Chariot, look. The chariot was at the bottom of the deck here. So this shows you, you need to take time. Be patient. Enjoy the journey. Like, you've worked really hard to get where you are to be this King of Pentacles. You've worked really hard to be this King of Pentacles, right? And it's taken time and now you're like, oh god, I have to do more catch up on my love life and my social life and stuff like that. When you're allowed to have time for yourself and if career is your thing, that's your thing, right? But I feel like this is stressing you out and you need to just enjoy, take your time, don't rush it, don't be this Knight of, Pe Knight of Swords or you're waiting for a Knight of Swords to come in and it'd be too quick. And they're rushing into it and it's not what you want because they're not going at your pace they're going at their pace and you trying to tell them to slow down enough to be a knight of wands here like you slow them down enough to be a knight of wands rather than knight of swords so like yeah take your time don't rush things and just seek advice from your friends so maybe they know someone who's single and is at your pace rather than you being impatient with them Got not finding you anyone and then suddenly you, you end up with like the wrong person because you were too fast and didn't like go through it properly so does that make sense yeah so this is this is stressing you out but you will be fine and at the end of the day it is <laughs> your life your your heart all that stuff i'm going to take um the fairy tale oracle I feel like the fairy tale might work for this because it's like, oh, it's Prince Charming coming kind of by Lucy Cavendish. So we'll see what. Oh, hello. So we got the Snow Queen loyalty. So loyalty is a big thing for you in this as a quality for a partner. Definitely a big thing. And since it's snow, I feel like it's going to be during the winter months. You might meet this person. Uh, you might meet this person. Uh, we have the Sea Maiden Promises. Now. I love this card because promises are a big thing, but she looks very disappointed. So maybe someone was promising you something and it didn't come true, come to fruition. And then we have Dawn of the Golden Hair Duty. So you're putting duty, like I have a job to do. I'm going to go off and do this rather than my heart. This other one jumped out. I'm going to use this one. Snow White and the Red Rose. Sister love. So maybe seek a sister or a sibling for advice. Or, like, you know, if you have a friend who's almost a sister, maybe seek them out for advice and use your your circle for, like, dating advice or, you know, just in general. Advice for, about your heart. All that lovely stuff. And the bottom of the deck is Goldilocks. Enlight entitlement. Okay. It's like you are entitled to have standards, Okay. You are entitled to have standards. You are entitled to be treated well. But do not get entitlement and arrogance mixed up. There's a fine line between it. Uh, so I'll leave that there, guys. And I will see you all very soon. Hope this reading finds you well. And yeah, bye.